Theodore Roosevelt was well known for his affection of the Badlands of North Dakota. To get to the western part of the state, it's assumed he would take a train to Dickinson, which would pass through Bismarck. That's the reasoning behind the name of the newest Northwoods League rivalry between the Badlands Big Sticks and the Bismarck Larks, which is called the Railroad to Roosevelt rivalry. Today's game aired on West Dakota Fox. It was the top of the first when the Big Sticks would step in front. Brant Craigle jumps on this pitch and rips it to center field. Caden Carpenter will score from second to make it 1-0 Badlands. The Larks would get on the board for the first time in the bottom of the third. With the game tied at two, their first earned run of the game would come as Cesar Franco hits a sacrifice fly to right field and Alex Alva will score to put the Larks in front 3-2. With the game tied at three in the top of the fifth, the Big Sticks would regain the lead as Tyler Toby's hard hit grounder makes its way to the outfield and Carpenter scores again. The score is now 4-3 Big Sticks until this. It was a big seventh inning for the home team. That's a hard hit one to the gap by Michael DeVinney. It reaches the wall, brings around some Larks runners and Bismarck uses a six run seventh inning to take a 10-4 lead. The rain will pause things soon after and that will be the final score. The Larks will win 10-4 in seven innings. Innings. The Hot Tots returned home to host the Rocks this evening and we'll start things off in the top of the second with Carter Hansen batting for the Rocks and right as he hits that one you could tell it's a goner. It sails over the fence and St. Cloud will take an early lead. All the way to the top of the third now it's Hansen batting again for the Rocks. He rips a ground ball through the gap into right field. Jalen Ziegler will score from third and it's a 4-0 Rocks lead. Later in the third, the Rocks with the bases loaded here. Andrew Savage lifts one into shallow center and it drops down. Another Rocks runner scores. They'll finish the third, with it, a third inning with an 8-0 lead. The Tots bats would finally come to life in the fifth inning. That's Anthony Potestio blasting this ball towards left center field going back and it sails over the fence. It's a two run shot that cuts the deficit more for the Tots, but it was too little too late at that point. They fall to the Rocks 14 to 8 at Corbett Field this afternoon. After a good deal into the second half of the season, three teams are tied at the top of the Great Plains division. Three of those teams are the Larks, Rocks, and Stingers, who are all three and two. The Stingers have already clinched that first half playoff spot. The Hot Tots are in fourth with a two and three record. Big Sticks are closely behind them. Now, if you're wondering the last time the Minnesota Twins dropped back-to-back -back series, you'd have to look all the way back to the beginning of June when the Twins got swept at Yankee Stadium and then lost two out of the three against the Pittsburgh Pirates. A win today over the Astros would make it five consecutive series wins for Minnesota's ball club. And that's pretty good baseball if you ask me. The Astros already with a 1-0 lead here in the top of the second. Jose Altuve lines one to left field. Myers will score to make it 2-0 Houston. Twins hoping to answer back in the bottom half of the second. With two on, Christian Vasquez picks up a base hit to left field. Byron Buxton will score and the Twins cut the deficit to one. Now still trailing by that one run in the bottom of the fourth is Vasquez again lasering one to third. The throw to second is in time and the throw home is in time as well but the ball is dropped and Brooks Lee is safe at home. It's a tie ball game all the way to the ninth inning when guess who Christian Vasquez crushes this ball to deep left field. It sails out of here. It's a walk off solo shot from Christian Vasquez to win the game three to two in favor of the Twins. Now let's take a look at the AL Central standings. The Guardians have a tight lead at the top with 56 and 32 record. The Twins sit comfortably in second, six games behind them. Kansas City is third, three games back from the Twins and nine games back from Cleveland. The Tigers in fourth with a 42 and 48 record. And the White Sox are nowhere close. There is just one Legion baseball score for you. The Rough Rider 